Welcome to part 9 of the Majora's Mask commentary, ladies and gentlemen. We got the bow and arrow from Woodfall Temple. We were doing some side quests uh, last part, but we're not done yet before we head into the next area. Let's explore Clock Town for a little while. What do you guys say? You look ridiculous with that bunny hood. <laughs> no, he looks fabulous with that bunny hood on, alright? <laughs> you shut your fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh. I, call, I, I am knew, the I, flesh. A new first day cycle begins. Of course, I'm heading over to the chest with the silver rupees. Cause that's a quick 100 mucho dinero trucky trailer, man. <laughs> this economy is fucked. <laughs> no one cares about the economy of pagan town. Termina economists are are baffled by the sudden inflation increase of Wednesday. <laughs> Man, why can't Link do that in Wind Waker with the ruby chest? Just kick the chest open, pull out the rubies, be done with it. No, instead he has to, he has to have the fanfare, even for the money chests. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, this is the second shooting gallery game in Majora's Mask, and I don't like this one a whole lot, because you, you know, to get the the next quiver upgrade and the heart piece, you have to be perfect. And it, being perfect here is a lot harder than the other one, because you can just go balls to the walls nuts with your shooting but here you have to aim mm, I, I don't I don't know if I could go back to this after the gyro controls on the Ocarina 3DS uh, admittedly so no in a, in a way I, I don't I don't know I think like I would have a hard time adjusting to that am I the only one who doesn't like using gyro controls for the 3DS because uh, you use it I don't. and the 3D effect just suddenly oops it's not gonna work anymore I don't use 3D, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I, I rarely use the 3D on a 3DS. Okay. I just don't care. Okay, well, it, that's one of the reasons why I'm looking forward to the new 3DS, because um, it, you're, I think it has some thing with the camera where it'll track where your eyes are, so it, you'll be able to see the 3D in any direction. You, oh, yeah. Hold yeah, it. yeah. I've heard the 3D is much better overall. So, you know... Um, those Japanese people in Australia, for some reason, yeah. are lucky. <laughs> I don't mind. I, I really don't. I don't mind the new gyroscope controls. In fact, um, if I could really compliment Wind Waker HD, uh, the gyroscope controls for that when you're using the grappling rope or the bow and arrow, the boomerang. I really like it there. I like how there's no question that there isn't a larger quiver than the, than the largest quiver in the game because they called it the <laughs> largest quiver. <laughs> No, no, it's the even larger than that quiver. Um, <laughs> That's a big quiver. Yeah. <laughs> We're pretty yeah. sure it doesn't get any bigger than this quiver. <laughs> the slightly bigger than that quiver. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you know, just like the shooting gallery game from last time, you gotta play the game twice, you gotta perfect it twice to get all the goodies. Well, and no, you, no, you, don't, you didn't perfect the first I didn't perfect time. the first time. Uh, but that's you, just still... have, you just have to beat the high score to get the quiver. You have to get a perfect to get You gotta do well yeah. enough the first time to get the largest quiver. Uh, well, it all depends. I mean, so if you do, play so this, you should if, do so. You could purposefully do worse than you could when you're trying to get the quiver in order to make this one easier. <laughs> well, no, you just gotta get it perfect. You need you to just, get perfect. Yeah, you just gotta get it perfect for the heart piece. Uh, you just gotta do really well for the quiver. If you do this shooting gallery game first, this is where you'll get the bigger quiver. And if you do the other shooting gallery game last, then that's when you get the largest quiver. It, it depends on what order you do it for. And if you do it perfect the first time, you don't get the heart piece. You have to do it twice. Yes, even yes. If, if you perfect it the first time, you're a god. I hate stuff but like you that. But you also get the quiver first. I just noticed, is that Great Bay in the background? Uh, possibly. I don't recognize that palm tree. <laughs> no, it, it just looks It looks like a It looks like a, a, a postcard I got from my yeah. grandma one time. <laughs> not trying to be racist against bays or anything, I'm not trying to say they all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has no legs. Yeah. On the subject of gyro controls for the bows, how does the uh, the, the 3DS control compare to, like, say, Wind Waker's in on the Wii U? Same thing. It's just the same I, thing. I would say, uh, yeah, I would say same thing. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is another three-day cycle mini game. Oh, I remember this mini game. Fuck right. this one. The object of the game changes each day. The first day, it's but the bomb tree gallery. And this this mini game trio in particular, I think, starts the hardest and then gets easier as you go along this cycle because the bomb yeah. tree gallery is so fucking finicky. You have to throw bomb trees and you have to have the good uh, good enough timing so that it goes directly into the target. But you're on a constantly rotating platform and that's a, that's a fuck with you. See, look, I thought I was doing a good job there, but. I wasn't. 
I think I only did this once, and that was like when I got the game, so I was just inquisitively looking around Clock Town for stuff to do. Never again. <laughs> it's still arguably easier than bomb shoe bowling. That was Ocarina at the time, or yeah, um, yeah, because all the I, I really I think I've only gone 100 percent at Ocarina at a time once. Oh god, and, the rotation speeds up. <laughs> yeah. This is this is uh, this is pretty disgusting. Do you have to perfect it in order to? Uh, yes. Uh, All three times. All three times. Uh, can you try it more than once a day? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, that's exciting. Could you try it if you, try it if you, you couldn't? Ugh. <laughs> it's the third day. You messed up. Ugh. Oh god. Now, I'm going back in time to perfect this, not to save the world. Let's not get it twisted. No. You cheated me. You deserve everything that happens to you. <laughs> oh, you're. I, I love the thief's jaunty walk. Haha, I'm mugging you. <laughs> to the blow him, blow him up, blow him up. I can't, Aww. not, not, not now. I, I now have to do the, I, I can't do anything. Ah, he's impervious. Oh, so you, you have to let him go this time in order to get a different Well, time. he's part of another side quest later. Yeah, but there are two reasons I'm actually doing this. Well, the first reason we did this is we did an early part, so I got the blast mask. But there's also a secondary thing to this. Uh, when you rescue her, now we can buy her a bigger bomb bag in the shop. Wait, so hold on. What's the difference here? Uh, you saved her the first time. She gave you the blast mask. Mm -hmm. uh, so And you save her the second time, which is technically she the opened. first time. And you get a Don't different Don't think too time. hard about that, And Ted. she just doesn't give you the blast mask. To get, blast mask. Well, because you already had it. Uh, but, she, uh, fucking time travel. <laughs> Wait, you know, sometimes saving an old woman from a mugger is its own reward, Todd. Don't give me your freaking Good Samaritan <laughs> crap. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I want. If them. video games have taught me one thing, you only do good good things for people if it gives you a reward. Yeah, fuck video games. Creating an army of sociopaths from a young age. <laughs> Hurry, it's time for bombskiball. I love bombskiball. You guys ever play bombskiball? It's pretty, you know, livid. You have not lived until <laughs> you played bombskiball. Sounds explosive. <laughs> Riveting indeed. Well, I've uh, never seen this. Yeah, I've uh, I, I find this easier than the bomb tree gallery because yeah. the bombs go in a straight line. I'm getting flashbacks of trying to light torches in 3D world. <laughs> yeah. Come on and slam, and welcome, <laughs> welcome to, the, to jam. the jam. Boom shakalaka! Hey, boom! <laughs> That's funny. Must be the shoes. <laughs> Do you have infinite bombs at least? Yeah, it's infinite bombs. Thank you. You always have infinite items for every minigame. Thank you. <laughs> little stroke of a look. Yeah. Uh, I'm just seeing a circular platform surrounded by a moat of water. I'm getting kind of Vietnam flashbacks to the Great Bay Temple. <laughs> we're not there yet, Tom. <laughs> we'll get there in the next session. If it makes you feel any better, we're not getting there for quite a long time. Awesome. How yeah. do these people stay in business with their building constantly being blown up? <laughs> It's an indestructible building. Yeah, titanium alloy plated walls. Eh, they're in love, they don't go fuck. Yeah, <laughs> the power of love protects their building. So do these two just stay in the middle of this spinning platform, dancing with each other all day and all night? Yeah, it's, it's all they care about. They'll dance until dawn. They'll dance till they die. So these are like the only people who don't give a crap that the world's ending, right? <laughs> you know, I, I think that their character model might literally be attached at the waist. <laughs> Don't they, didn't they do that in Ocarina of Time? Uh, yeah. With, with the, a dancing couple? Yeah. Yeah, this is the... Well, the same model, anyway. Parallel universe version. Well, this is day three, and I find this the easiest one, because, you know, you have infinite arrows, and... The, the spinning platform, I don't think, hinders you that much. No. Wow, this is actually pretty easy looking. Yeah. You can be a total cowboy here. Bonus points if every shot makes it. Yeah, see that that's way simpler than the bomb tree gallery and bomb skiball. Perfect rumble, rumble, rumble. <laughs> World's about to be destroyed. <laughs> Here, here's the deed to the house. Yay! Oh shit, I got time it travel. It is perfect. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Mm, one more heart piece, and you get a uh, you get a heart container. Oh, I thought I was going to get a free Sunday. Uh, those are a lot easier to find in this than Wind Waker. In Wind Waker, all you ever find in things is treasure charts. So you have to find hidden things to find your hidden things. <laughs> Yo, dog. What? 
Well, apparently in the Japanese version of Wind Waker, I'm not sure how true this is, because A, I'm not Japanese, B, I've never played the Japanese version of Wind Waker, but apparently in the Triforce Hunt in that one, you had to find charts to find charts to find shards, instead of just finding charts to find shards. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Oh, yeah. This is beyond exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> where, do you, where, do you, where do you go beyond this? Uh, What's so uh, Super three. Saiyan three? Yeah, Super Saiyan level three exhibit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what's next, John? <laughs> All right, we finally got that done out of the way. Let's head into the next major area of Majora's Mask. We're going to Snowhead, ladies and gentlemen, which is straight north. Nice. Hooray! Nice. Cool. The ice level of yeah. the game, basically, which is enough. pretty cool because I'm uh, recording Snow Peak Ruins in um, my Twilight Princess playthrough right now. You know, it's always, you know, straight north is always the cold region of video games. The South Pole never gets any love. People usually associate the South with tropical climates and... Well, that's because vi uh, video games are racist against the Southern he Hemisphere. We should start a movement. Okay, I guess nobody wants to start a movement. I will just move along. We'll just move along. Well, you need the bow and arrow in order to... damn so Southern Hemispheres deserve <laughs> it. <laughs> Taking our jobs... <laughs> North Pole versus South Pole. Does does the South Pole have an equivalent to Eskimos? Or they don't even have a Santa Claus. <laughs> they have penguins. I think they have penguins. Penguins yeah. are like Eskimos, right? This is the North Pole, doesn't it? <laughs> no. 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 It has, it has Santa Claus and his elves. Oh, so all the penguins that show up in the North Pole levels all over the place are just displaced penguins. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a lie. I feel for what you. a drift. <laughs> <laughs> Tech tights. Returning from every Zelda game, previously, but this one particularly from Ocarina of Time. Uh, how are they able to survive in this frozen environment? Has it ever been confirmed that they need warm climate to survive? That is true. Nope. <laughs> Remember Fantasyland. Fantasyland, and nobody gives a shit. <laughs> I, I get the feeling that they that they're only here because they didn't really quite have time to conceptualize a new uh, and make a new enemy for the snow area. Yeah. Well, we, we do have these snow enemies that you do see on the way to Snowhead. Uh, I'm not sure if they only appear at night, uh, but they rise from the snow and they throw snowballs at you. Okay. Well, I, more, more accurately, ice balls. I would say ice balls, because there's no way in hell a snowball should be taking hearts away from Link. Why is there a Goron in the ice level? Well, this... If you want to get into the context of Majora's Mask, this place is not supposed to be frozen. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Even though it's called Snow Peak. Shut up, Ted. No, Snowhead. <laughs> Snowhead, Snow, whatever. S Snowhead is Majora, Snow Peak is Twilight Princess. I get this confused all the time. Uh, it's more so that the winter isn't ending. It ha it gets snow now and again during winter, but it's not supposed to be this frozen all the time. Uh, so, I'd imagine, uh, so when it gets snow, it gets a lot of snow. Hi, Tingle. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Tingle. Ah, uh, you survived. These tights keep me warm. Kudo Limpa. <laughs> I see they're going for the, the creepy... Ice music as opposed to the serene ice music. Well, uh, it's funny you mentioned that. Uh, every major area plays a variation of the same theme. If you uh, listen to the soundtrack when you get the chance. And I will say the Icona Valley remix, absolute favorite. Yeah, I love it the Icona Valley. The, 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 Icona Valley ver the, the Icona Valley version is so haunting. It's so fucking good too. I I have a question. Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time were they like early enough in their in their console generation that 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 music that music in video games was still trying to use the the console sound card? Uh, well, they had to in this case, yes, because it was a it was a cartridge. Well, early cartridge. Yeah. Anyway, because games nowadays like 3DS doesn't use like the cartridge uh, sound chip. They just used uh like compressed, I guess. Not MP3s, but an equivalent. No, not MP3s, but whatever. Well, propriety music, files propriety they music. Uh, it's like yeah, it's like you know, even early on in the PlayStation, in the PlayStation One games, still used uh, sound chip music. Final Fantasy VII is a is a, an obvious example. Well, I think I know. I think only seven did that. Yeah, every, every game in the series after that went with CD quality music. Yeah. Well, if they needed to save on cartridge space, they could have remove this particular sound clip because it really grates on my nerves after a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, people say Baby Mario's crying is annoying. Jesus. <laughs> right. That's meant as a punishment. I don't know what this is meant to represent. 
<laughs> it's supposed to yeah. be. Yeah, it's meant to you to talk I to think, someone to get the fuck I, out. I think that's the point, because everyone in here is jumping around with their hands over their ears like they really need to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> It could be. It could be. It could be three things. You know, the, it could be uh, them shivering because it's so fucking cold. The the guy go to the bathroom, or they really just can't take the crying. Or it's all three at once. It looks like all three at once. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. It's like that one scene in Dumb and Dumber where he says, "Do you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world?" It's like no sound will ever be more annoying in the world than a baby crying. Yeah, but that's a point. God damn it. Yeah, it's yeah. evolutionarily uh, designed to be annoying so that the parents will. Do whatever they can to um, to, to do Stop something it. about it, so that the baby can get its needs met. Well played, baby. Be well yeah, human played. babies are basically the most helpless creatures in the entire universe. <laughs> Hello, Kapora Gabora. Okay, now I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen this part of the game before. Um, I've seen the Deku. Th Where'd you stop? Because, uh, like, I've seen plenty of Clock Town, because you can, like, futz around with uh, that a whole bunch. And I uh, I did the, the Deku Tree dungeon. Not the Deku Tree, but the... The, 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 Deku, the, the Deku Palace. Yeah, I did that, but I didn't... I basically haven't seen anything else, so I've never seen any of the, oh. the Snow Peak, Snow Head, whatever. Um, or... You're in for a visual 64-bit treat. Oh, great. Muddy textures and blocky character models. Awesome. <laughs> I love the N64, but, you know, um, very few games are still graphically impressive on the thing. Uh, I think the Zelda games hold up pretty well. They, they hold up all right. Like, they're, they're, they're not, like... They hold up about as well as a, co a game from that console generation can. Uh, well, here's the, here's the thing about the Zelda games. They have this really gamey feel to them that makes it that makes it easy to overlook or forgive their graphical shortcomings most of the time. Uh, I think it gets a little a little shakier with Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword, where they're trying to take themselves a little more seriously, and that makes it yeah. a little easier to to criticize. Well, that's just the the uncanny valley uh, situation, as where these games still look kind of primitive enough that we can. Uh, just sort of separate them from and car and cartoonish. They're trying yeah. to look realistic. They're they're trying to look, well not really realistic, but they're trying to look cool and edgy, and they still do the the chest fanfare thing. <laughs> and it's just like, okay, why not? <laughs> well, we got the lens of truth. Thanks to Kaporo Gabor, we're gonna put it to use next part. See you guys then.